Being a single mom or a single dad is tough. In fact, I think it's one of the toughest jobs out there. You have maybe your day job and then you have your kids and you come home and you're exhausted. And then suddenly you think, I think it's a great idea to start a business. And now your time is pulled in all sorts of directions and you're wondering, what is it I should really do? My name is Susan Sly and I was raised by a single dad and I once was a single mom and shouts out to all of the single parents out there. I do these videos for people just like you, people who want to start businesses, who are maybe overwhelmed, maybe confused. And frankly, the failure rate for businesses is over 50% by year number five. So when I'm out and you know I'm talking to people, so many people say, I want to start a business. And the reality is when I'm looking them in the eye, I know that one of two of those conversations are going to end with that person failing. So these tips, this raw and real entrepreneurship is for you, that person who wants to start a business, you have a business, you have an idea, you're thinking about doing something. And I want this to be your home. If you have a video idea for me, go to susansly.com. There is a submission button. Ask your question. I'd love to make a video for you. And in fact, today's video is inspired by the gal who just did my hair. Uh, so shouts out to dry bar. Love, love, love you guys. So I was getting my hair blown out and the gal who was doing my hair is a single mom. She's starting a business. She has two boys age 10 and 12. And she said to me, so what are you getting your hair done for? And I said, well, I shoot YouTube videos. And she said, what's your channel about? And I told her Ron real entrepreneurship. And she said, you know what? I just want it to be raw and real. I want things to be the truth. I don't want anything sugar coated. So baby girl, this video is just for you and all the single moms and dads out there. So there are five tips that I wanna give you today. And the first one is about creating a plan. You have got to have a business plan. And if you don't know how to do that, I encourage you to watch some of the videos on this channel. I would love to help you with that. So your business plan is not just about what is your concept, it's about who else is in your space, who is your competition, how much startup capital is it gonna take? Maybe if you're a single parent, you might be starting a business, you know, like a direct selling business or something that's low startup and low risk, or you might be thinking of starting a business that is riskier, which I would encourage as a single parent right out of the gate. Um, maybe it's a side hustle and your startup cost might just be a website, maybe um, getting a logo design, some articles of incorporation, um, that kind of thing. So maybe your startup cost is, you know, three to five thousand dollars or maybe it's maybe three to four hundred dollars. But either way, you need to get your plan done. And I can tell you one of my favorite quotes by Jack Canfield is this. Either you fail to plan and plan to fail or you plan to succeed, right? So thinking about that, if you don't have a plan, you are setting yourself up for failure. The second thing is getting your kids involved. So my kids right now range in age from 12 to 26 years old and any business I've ever started. And if you're new to my channel, I own several businesses right now. Um, any business I've ever started, I've gotten the kids involved. And because you're gonna be working a lot, the average entrepreneur works 50 to 70 hours per week. And if you are a single parent and you're working and then on top of it, you are doing this side hustle, you're getting a business, started, you are going to put in some very long days and you don't want your kids, your, 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 the very joy of your life to resent you. So getting your kids involved and saying, Hey, look, I'm going to be working more. This is why this is what the plan is. I would love for you to help out. And if there's a way that you can physically reward them financially, perhaps when they're helping out, you can, even if they're over the age of 12, you can pay them to help out in your business, doing different things, getting 
them involved, helping them see why you are working. You know, why is mom working so hard right now? I don't get it. Um, the, the goal that you probably are starting your business for is so you can quit your day job and have more time freedom. That's what almost every, the reason everyone starts a business for the reality is when you start a business and you're working full time, there is no time freedom. That's a myth. It doesn't exist. There is going to be this messy part where you are doing a lot of things and maybe you're not getting a lot of sleep. And that's why having the kids involved is going to be so key. Anytime I've been going for a business goal, the kids have just been absolutely amazing. My son, AJ, he'll bring me um, cups of tea in my office. The kids will say, how are you doing with the goal? Where are we at? And I've always rewarded them. I'd say, look, you know, when we hit this goal, we'll go to Disney or we'll go camping for the week or we'll do something. We'll do something together as a family. So getting the kids involved is really key. The third thing is using your existing network because networking is one of the most important skills in any business. And I don't care what business that is. Um, right now, one of my roles is as co-founder and co-CEO of an artificial intelligence company. And we have employees in different states and different countries. There's a lot of day-to-day -day things going on, but in order to find new clients, to find investors, networking is a big part of my day. So what I encourage you to do is figure out what networks you are plugged into. So where is it that you go that you can start to talk about your business? So maybe your kid's school, maybe it's church, maybe your kid's extracurricular programs, or depending on the work that you do maybe in the day, maybe there's something that you can speak to your boss and let them know that you are starting a side business as long as it doesn't conflict with what it is you're doing. There are some companies out there that actually encourage their employees to have side businesses. So, you know, if, if you work for one of those companies, I'd love you to drop a comment below and give a shout out to that company because the more and more companies should be encouraging their employees to have a side hustle. I think, you know, this whole concept, it's ancient that we should just be owning our employees. And no, that shouldn't be the case. All of our employees should definitely have something on the side that fuels them and you know maybe it's not a business maybe it's volunteering or whatever it is number four is get help get help get help you are gonna need help and when I was a single mom I thought I have to do everything myself right and I was a hardaholic so to speak so you know it because you're so used to doing it all yourself you know the cleaning the cooking the laundry the you know taking the kids to school picking them up from school all of it so get help so what does help look like it could be doing a trade with a friend so in this particular case where um, this gal is starting a hair salon actually in a different state, which I recommended to her she not do because it's very tough to run a business in a different state or a province. But I suggested that she find someone, if she was super committed to this, find someone who would operate as that manager of that business and potentially might want to buy it down the road. So that could be help someone else managing that business. It could be a virtual assistant. Um, I recommend onlinejobs.ph. I'm not affiliated with them. I do use them. I create created a white paper on how to hire VAs. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, just go to studentsly.com. I can share with you my tips on that. Um, it could be um, trading, as I said, it could be trading services. So let's say that you're a massage therapist and you're starting a business. Maybe could you trade um, with a CPA and say, hey, if I do some massages, would you help me set up my company, right? So trades are very, very important for single parents, especially when they're starting a business and they don't have a lot of resources. Um, even if there's a way that you can get someone to help with the childcare, maybe you have a good relationship with your former partner and, and you say, Hey, I'm starting a business. Would you be willing to do some more of the drop-offs and pickups or Saturday soccer or whatever it is, but you must ask for help. Lean in. Okay. Tap yourself on the chest. Say, I will ask for help, Susan, right? So often we're the island and we don't ask for help. I know I've been there. I confess, I get it. <laughs> Number five is set milestones. Life doesn't have to be so hard. And sometimes I do look myself in the mirror and say, Susan, 
you do not have to make things so hard. And even I'm guilty of it. If I'm tired, if I'm stressed, sometimes I'll make things much harder than they need to be. And when I'm doing that, I forget to reward myself for those milestones. So in your business, you want to set milestones. It might be your first 10 customers. It might be um, a certain revenue milestone. Um, it might be a certain amount of followers on social media, a certain amount of emails in your email lead list, which you should definitely have that um, because social media is changing all all the time. If you need help with that, I own a digital marketing agency just for small business owners. You can go to agency8.com. Um, the, the team over there will help get you set up. They're amazing. Um, they're, they're just love small business owners because the president of the agency, Diana, she actually was a small business owner. She gets it. She'll help you. So setting these milestones and what are they going to be? And that's where you get the kids involved again. And maybe you do a dream board. Maybe you have something that, you know, is up on your fridge. It's like, okay, 10 clients, we get to do this. Um, you know, when we get to our first, you know, thousand dollar month, we do this. Our first $5,000 month, we do this. But those milestones are so important. And so with that, the one ask I have of you is hit subscribe hit the subscribe button. I would love for you to subscribe to this channel. Go ahead, follow me on Instagram at Susan Sly. Um, if you have a video that you would like me to make just for you, go to SusanSly.com. And I um, have an incredible, incredible mailer that I send out every single week on the mindset that entrepreneurs need to succeed. Um, I do amazing events and I would love, love, love to coach you and mentor you. I do not do one-on-one -on -one coaching, but get this, I do free monthly group coaching and I'd be more than happy to coach you uh, for free. Um, so, which is awesome. So with that, God bless, go rock your day, drop a comment below. I'm the one who responds to the comments, not one of my staff. I want to drop a comment below. And again, if this has been helpful, subscribe to the channel, check out some more videos, and I'll see you in the next video.